Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on digital electronics boolean algebra and logic gates so as the title of the video suggest in this video tutorial we'll just take a introduction on sequential circuits so this video tutorial is going to be theoretical in nature and up until now if you've seen this entire playlist we've discussed a lot of combinational circuits and basic logic gates so we are moving on to sequential circuits which is different from combinational circuits so if you have missed any of those videos you can check out this playlist and you can see a card on the top right corner for this entire playlist so what are sequential circuits in digital electronics now as i mentioned this is going to be a theoretical video so let me just read out some information that i have just wrote so unlike combinational logic circuits that change state depending upon the actual signals being applied to their inputs at that time sequential logic circuits have some form of inherent memory built in So we've seen combinational logic circuits up until now in this playlist like half adder full adder multiplexer demultiplexer and what not so all of them had some input signals and their corresponding output signals but they did not have a feedback mechanism or a memory mechanism wherein the output depended on the previous input as well so in sequential logic circuit what happens is these logic circuits are able to take into account their previous input state as well as the actual present state so a sort of before and after effect is involved with these sequential circuits which means that they have certain memory of what the previous state was or what the previous input was and then they give an output according to that sequence that's why the name sequential logic circuits so these logic circuits are generally termed as two states or bistable devices which can have their output or outputs set in one or two basic states that is the logic level 1 or logic level 0 and they remain in that state latched hence the name sometimes as latch indefinitely in this current state or condition until some other input trigger or pulse is applied so that will cause their state to change into another stage Okay so this is very theoretical in nature i know but uh, this is we'll see a different types of sequential circuits as well so this is a little bit of block diagram of a sequential circuit you can see there is input and output for a combinational logic circuit and to convert it into sequential you can see that we have a positive feedback so some output is given back as a input or we have a separate clock signal or some other external source which is given as the input again so that changes the output so depending upon the previous state the output is affected so if you just consider input combinational logic circuit and output this was a typical combinational logic circuit but when this green arrow you can see that there is a loop created over here so the output is given back to the input or we have a separate device or separate circuit which gives some input to this combinational circuit so that makes it a sequential circuit so this is a typical block diagram it is a very simple block diagram just to give you an idea of how it might look and how it looks like so now there are different types of sequential circuits as well so there are the three types that is event driven clock driven and pulse driven so in event driven the circuits are asynchronous in nature which means that they are not timed and it's not like after a certain time they are going to change their state so it depends upon the state applied and it changes immediately when enabled now clock driven circuits are synchronized to a specific clock signal now clock signal essentially is an external circuit which provides some input at a regular interval of time to this circuit and depending upon that input our circuit changes states and pulse driven is a combination of the two and it responds to basically triggering pulses again there is cyclic and non cyclic sequential circuits which are further categorized so we're not going to get into a lot of detail right now because we'll individually check these sequential circuits so a little bit of difference between combination and sequential circuits and by now you must have got a basic idea of the difference so the circuit whose output at any immediate time depends only on the input present at that instant only is known as combinational circuit so in combinational circuit it does not depend on the previous input or the past state it only depends upon the current input state but in sequential circuit the circuit whose output at any immediate time depends not only on the current input or input present but also on the past output also known as sequential circuit is known as sequential circuit so these type of circuits have no memory unit and these type of circuits have memory unit to store the past output so there has to be some memory unit to store the output of the previous state right so they have a memory unit usually combinational circuits are generally faster and sequential circuits are generally slower because they have a separate unit to store the past state and the circuit is little bit complex now combinational circuits are easy to design and these are difficult to design because there are multiple circuits or the structure itself is a little different and difficult to implement and some examples of combinational circuits are half adder full adder comparators multiplexer demultiplexer etc and we've discussed quite a lot of combinational circuits in this playlist itself and some examples of sequential circuits are flip flop resistors counters clocks and etc so moving on as 
that table suggests the example of sequential circuits are flip flops clocks counters registers memory devices etc and right now i'm not going to get into a lot of detail of these individual different types of sequential circuits because these topics are large enough and i'll be dedicating separate videos itself for each of these topics in fact there are different sub topics of or sub categories of flip flops or sub categories of counters as well so we'll have to individually take one at a time so we'll see that in upcoming video tutorials in this playlist so this was just an introduction of sequential circuits and I hope you have a little bit of idea and theoretical idea of what sequential circuits are and we'll see a little bit of circuit diagrams in future video tutorials so the idea will get more clear that time so yeah if you found this video informational share it with your friends hit like if you found this informational and if you like this video and yeah if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video tutorial so that's it for this video guys I'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial peace